Hi. Hi. I can see you now. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind me interrupting really quick for a quick photo. Sure. No. Awesome. I'm going to count to three. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, and three. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, Hi. So, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, like, I know you do candle now and really good character, but the character I like associate you the most was Carla because, well, like a lot of fairy tale. You know, that's something that always bugged me about. We were trying to do an English accent with Carla because that she has kind of the tone, like British accent. Yeah. It was, it was like, on the edge of it, but not quite. Um, she had like Mary Poppins vibes, but it was never like fully, fully British. Um, it was just sort of a, an affectation that was like skirting the line of it a little bit. Yeah, dipping, because- Dipping the toe in a little. <laughs> oh, okay, because I felt like she was like British accent, not quite because it didn't have the tone, but it was like sarcastic in, in some kinds. I felt, <laughs> I, I felt like. Okay, yeah. Another thing that I really draw you more attention was I watch a lot of food wars this like past few months. And awesome. Megum so such adorable. Oh my gosh. She poor thing. She's so she works so hard. Yeah. <laughs> how how is your feeling like doing the whole uh the auto election, doing the whole battle with with uh, Rio, like the the whole thing? Um I I would have to like see that moment again, but I mean, she she's so she's so fun to play, and I love the journey she goes on and how she just finds her inner strength and her inner courage and um, just kind of learns to to hold her own and like be a good cook on her own, you know? Yeah, like I see that in in some characters. Ah, uh, you, you do you don't do a lot of screaming like in some voice actors. You you don't feel I sense that you don't do a lot a lot of screaming like some voice actors do like in the Funimation roles. I mean, it just depends. I I have, but um, it just kind of depends on the role. Yeah. I mean, she has her own style of screaming. Megami does, but um, I've done some like some some crazier stuff from time to time. No, no yeah, like a yeah. character I think is underrated. Yours is the Cyclops from Monster Masume. That find actually really cute. The Cyclops that has a sniper. Yeah, <laughs> the one and only Cyclops I've ever played. She's got a cool character design. It's really neat. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of fun that she's like this shyest character in the whole thing. <laughs> That is cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now, like, okay, fairy tale is over. Like, have you dubbed already the, the the last season of Food Wars, or are you still doing? It? Which, which season? The the last one. They said the fourth plate. Oh no, not yet. Not yet. Not ah. yet. Yeah, but I, I think I think we might be doing that soon. Yeah, I, I didn't know that if you guys are already doing it or like I know because it's not a, I don't remember if this is Funimation or Crunchyroll or I, I don't remember which ones owns Food Wars. Um, so the the people that I dubbed Food Wars in the past was Sentai Studios, mm -hmm. um, and I think that they I don't in the past they were on High Dive, but I'm not sure what they're on now. Oh, okay. I was a little confused because I know Funimation doesn't own, doesn't have the right to Food Wars, but but they had a lot of Funimation people working on the show, so I got a yeah. little confused. Yeah, so Sentai is in, I live in Dallas, Texas, and Sentai Studios is in Houston, Texas, so a lot of the same actors kind of go back and forth to the different studios. I thought you guys like Dub at Home or something. Uh, during the pandemic, yeah, but the majority of Food Wars was recorded pre-pandemic, um, most of what I did, so I, I recorded in studio in Houston for those. Oh, okay, that, that kind of answers some questions I had because I didn't know how you guys like do it. Like some some prefer doing it at home, some prefer doing it in studios. I don't know how each one has their design to voice yeah. it. Yeah, I do both. Um, in the beginning, only at home for like the first six, seven months, but uh, after a while, after a lot of places had like different safety protocols in place, there are some studios that I would go in person and be distanced in my own like room. But I also have a studio in my closet now. <laughs> ah, so. Nice, like most people, not yeah. like most dubber 
So yeah, that's really good. Like I hope. Like, is there any character you you are like excited to play now? Um, there's some some new stuff coming up that I'm excited to come out. Um, and I'm also directing a couple shows right now, which is really cool. I'm directing a show called Mars Red, um, which is about mm -hmm. vampires in 1923 Japan, which is really really cool. Yeah, um, this thing is, is always Japan. Like even Black Butler, who is set in London, every everywhere does, does just speak is Japanese. Really. It's really kind of, I don't know, just, it's something about me. It's, it's okay. But it was really cool meeting you. I hope one day meeting you in person. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to meet you too. Have nice a good to meet weekend. You, you too. Bye. Have bye. a nice day. You bye. See you in Texas.